was born on November 27, 1874. He was one of 15 children. In his life, he accomplished many scientific discoveries, including the discovery of industrial fermentation, a much needed advancement during World War I. Without his discovery, the world would be a much different place. It was unlikely for Hun Weizmann to become a hero. I think it's important for people to learn about Hein Weizmann because uh, he shows that the power of one person, um, what power one person has to make a difference in this world because he came from the tiniest town in Russia and it would have been easy for him to think he's nobody uh, and he doesn't make a difference. Jewish people at the time, um, we did not have our own country, our own state, uh, and the conditions were not so good for uh, the Jewish people. His intellect, he got a good education, and he persisted in what he was doing, and because of that, he became a world-renowned scientist and a great leader who helped establish the state of Israel. One of the most important inventions that he had was the method to produce the acetone, uh, which helped the uh, British Army during the First World War. So uh, his scientific contribution was uh, uh, very big. Industrial fermentation uh, and what he did there with acetone was really interesting because um, nobody could figure out. Uh, basically, what was happening was during World War One, um, the uh, British in the wars at sea uh, used cannons on their ships, and these cannons wouldn't fire correctly. They needed something. Uh, and people didn't quite know what. The leadership of Great Britain offered a reward to any scientist who could find a solution to their problem. Uh, the solution turned out to be this um, little microbe that's found in uh, corn mash, and Hein Weizmann had uh, discovered that this microbe actually worked as a fermentation product that would eventually help the production of acetone, which is what the cannons needed to fire correctly. His discovery was an accident, and his lab partner told him that he should throw it away because it was just a waste of time. But Heim Weizmann decided to keep it because he thought it might be useful for something in the future. And then sure enough, he realized that that was the product that was useful for industrial fermentation of acetone. So when uh, Winston Churchill announced this reward, uh, Heim Weizmann stepped forward and said, I think I have the answer. He was then asked to produce 20,000 tons of acetone. But he, as um, a guy with ingenuity, uh, went about the process of trying to figure out how to produce this on a very large scale. And one of the places that they identified was right here in the Western United States, which was on a river and had lots of access to corn and good transportation possibilities. And that was in Terre Haute, Indiana. It was one of the most important figures leading the way to the birth of the state of Israel. Also his... Um, Scientific ingenuity led to a political reward from Lord Balfour of Great Britain, uh, and that political re reward helped to establish the state of Israel. Uh, because of the First World War, the British got the mandate to rule in Palestine, and they did help a lot to the Zionist movement, and don't forget, Weizmann was the president of this movement, to uh, um, um, to work toward an independence. Heim Wiseman was a leader during the Zionist movement, and when the British tried to reward him for his great service during World War I, he said he would rather create a homeland for the Jewish people. This would lead to the Balfour Declaration and British support for Jewish homeland. The of the first and second war helped the Lord Weizmann to push ahead um, the project if, if I may say, of, um, of the state of Israel. Wiseman's dream of Israel becoming a state finally became reality on May 14, 1948. This is when he became the first president of Israel. After the Second World War and after the Holocaust, there was no question that the Jews have a right um, uh, for independent uh, state, and Wiseman knew it very well. But let me emphasize one thing. Weizmann and his colleagues uh, did succeed to, um, 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 to establish Israel in 1948 after the Second World War, War, not because of the Holocaust, but in spite of the Holocaust. 
Israel needed strong leadership, and Haim Weizmann provided that by leading them through a war as they were surrounded by hostile enemies. Israel is now a thriving democracy and a safe haven for Jewish people and other people throughout the world. During the first years of Israel, uh, it was a very tenuous time, as you can imagine, um, because some people, uh, some leaders in the Middle East uh, were not um, happy with the establishment of Israel, and there were uh, wars and those sorts of things, um, so it was very important right at the outset for the leaders of Israel to defend itself, uh, and he helped to guide Israel through that time. Haim Wiseman was president until 1949. He died 10 years later in 1959. He also part of the Institute of uh, it has produced a number of scientific and medical uh, innovations um, and produced a number of Nobel, Nobel laureates, uh, three of them actually, uh, in the area of science. So um, through scientific innovation, uh, it's changing the world through the processes and products that it creates. Well, I think we have to hear, but just imagine that someone who has no country behind him no budget uh, without him. He went all over the world uh, um, uh, and convinced everybody from the state in the West to, to the Chinese in the East for the right of the Jews for independence. He's a kind of a hero because, because he did something unbelievable uh, uh, um, without any organization behind, behind him. And, he, and if uh, Herzl, um, the one who gave the Zionists the vision of independence, uh, and, um, was, which was something very, you know, theoretically, practically, he is the father of the state of Israel. So it's a kind of a hero, no doubt, no doubt about it. The Weizmann Institute is one of the leading research institutes, uh, both in Israel and all over the world. Uh, we are working there on mostly on basic research in the fields of physics, life sciences, biology, chemistry, biochemistry, computer and mathematics. Heim Weizmann founded the Weizmann Institute of Science in 1934. The institute was originally called the Daniel Seif Research Institute. On November 2nd, 1949, was renamed in honor of Haim Weizmann. Much of what we have today in Israel and all the impact that Israel has in, uh, all over the world, helping uh, many, many different fields, uh, that is uh, greatly thanks to the uh, work and efforts of Dr. Haim Weizmann. And had it not been for Weizmann's invention and the production capabilities here in the Midwest, then World War I probably would have turned out much differently and the whole course of history from there on out would have been much different. Heim Weizmann's discoveries repaired the world by helping allies win World War I. His discoveries are still repairing the world today through products produced by industrial fermentation 